If you encounter the following problems with your pump, check for these issues. Cavitation, inadequate fluid supply because inlet line collapsed or clogged, clogged line strainer, inlet line too small or too long, air leak in the inlet line, worn or damaged inlet hose, suction line too long, too many valves and elbows in inlet line, fluid too hot for inlet suction piping system, air entrained in fluid piping system, aeration and turbulence in supply tank, inlet vacuum too high. Symptoms of cavitation, excessive pump valve noise, premature failure of spring or retainer, volume or pressure drop, rough running pump, premature failure of diaphragms, drop in volume or pressure. A drop in volume or pressure can be caused by one or more of the following. Air leak in suction piping, clogged suction line or suction strainer, suction line inlet above fluid level in tank, inadequate fluid supply, pump not operating at proper RPM, relief valve bypassing fluid, worn pump valve parts, foreign material in inlet or outlet valves, loss of oil prime in cells because of low oil level, ruptured diaphragm, cavitation, warped manifold from overpressurized system, O-rings forced out of their grooves from overpressurization, air leak in suction line strainer or gasket, cracked suction hose, empty supply tank, excessive aeration and turbulence in supply tank, abrasives in the fluid, valve incompatible with corrosives in the fluid, pump running too fast, worn and slipping drive belts, worn spray nozzles, pump runs rough, worn pump valves, air lock in outlet system, oil level low, wrong weight of oil for cold operating temperatures, change to lighter weight, cavitation, air in suction line, restriction in inlet suction line, hydraulic cells not primed after changing diaphragm, foreign material in inlet or outlet valve, damaged diaphragm, fatigued or broken valve spring, premature failure of diaphragm, frozen pump, punctured by a foreign object, elastomer incompatible with fluid being pumped, pump running too fast, excess pressure, cavitation, water or process fluid in oil reservoir, condensation, ruptured diaphragm, hydraulic cell not properly primed after diaphragm replacement, frozen pump, strong water or process fluid pulsations. Note, small pulsations are normal in single acting pumps with multiple pumping chambers. Foreign object lodged in pump valve. Loss of prime in hydraulic cell because of low oil level. Air in suction line. Valve spring broken. Cavitation. Aeration or turbulence in supply tank. Valve wear. Normal wear from high speed operation. Cavitation. Abrasives in the fluid. Valve incompatible with corrosives in the fluid. Pump running too fast. Loss of oil. External seepage. Rupture of diaphragm. Frozen pump. Worn shaft seal. Oil drain piping or fill cap loose. Valve plate and manifold bolts loose. Pump housing porosity. Premature failure of valve spring or retainer. Cavitation. Foreign object in the pump. Pump running too fast. 
spring retainer material incompatible with fluid being pumped. Excessive inlet pressure, 